Hey guys, I got my LEDs came in yesterday, so I'm installing them. Um, I got the new uh, LED headlights. These are uh, Cree LED design. I got them from Larsen Lights. It's L A R S E N. Uh, they have a website. Um, Seem to be all right. Came in a couple days. Uh, they have uh, 12 LEDs. The top and bottom of the lens are actually kind of like look like they're gonna have like a flood pattern because of the way the the plastic or gla plastic is. And then these ones will be more of a spot beam. Um, Sixty-five dollars a piece. And you can see the difference. these are kind of just beat up and yellowed and rusty on the inside. These lights are a plug and play, direct mount. I just wanted to put one in and see how it went. It's pretty simple. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Doesn't take very long. They come with the mounting bracket and a John Deere plug. So it's a direct plug and play. Um, whenever you're on their website you select what tractor you're mounting them on and they'll send you a light for that tractor so let's go ahead and get it installed first thing I gotta do is uh, unplug the connector off the old light and it's unplugged and it's pretty simple they uh, these lights just have um, three Allen screws and you can adjust them. There's springs on the back side of them so you can angle them up, down, left, right, however you want them mounted. Um, I have Allen sockets but they're not long enough. The socket interferes with the plastic so I gotta use the, uh, the L-shaped keyed ones. And you just go ahead and run them out, all three of them one on the bottom, there's not one on the bottom over here, and two up top. So I'm going to go ahead and run those out, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, when we got the uh, stock light out, you can see it's got these springs that keep positive tension on it and help with your adjustments. And so they got a little uh, foam piece to help uh, keep for the vibration and everything. And then we're pretty rusty on the back here, but I'll I'll swap these uh, plastic nut plates over into the new lights now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this foam piece off of the old light. It's kind of stiff. All right, got the foam piece off, and now we'll pop these. Uh, all you do is squeeze them together and push them through to get these nut plates out. There's one. Two, and there's the third one. So we're done with this light. I'm going to clean some of the dirt and any rust pieces off of the foam. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, insert. Two tops. They go in from the front. Here's one installed. Now I'll do the other top. Alright, both tops are installed and now 
I just have to put the outside or the inside bottom on it. All right, so we got all those in, and then I'm gonna clean some of the dirt off of this. And we go ahead and stick our foam piece back around with the uh, springs facing forward. All right, back to the tractor for install. I'm gonna WD the mounting fastener real quick. Always good to lube your hardware. Keep, try to keep stuff from corroding. Get your hardware started in those springs. And then try to find the nut plate. Alright, it grabs. So all three, all three are started now. Just gotta go ahead and run them all the way down in, and then after you turn them on and you're outside in the field, you can make whatever adjust adjustments you want with the Allen. I tried to just crank them down evenly. All right, so they're both mounted now, and. All I have to do is hook the connector up. As I said, it's a direct. Let's see if I can get you to stay here. Connector is a direct plug and play. Go ahead and plug your connector in like so. And then I'm going to get some wire ties and I'm going to wire tie these up up top here because I don't want them interfering with the uh, the cold air intake uh, and ripping those harnesses out. So that's pretty much all I have to do is wire tie those harnesses out of the way and ops check them. I have the ignition torn apart right now so I'm not going to be able to turn them on. Hopefully that comes in the mail today. But uh, once I get them up and running I'll... Uh, Definitely put them on the video. So, it's a pretty simple job. I, uh, I mounted both lights in under an hour. And it looks a lot more modern, and I can't wait to see how bright they are with the uh, 12 LEDs. I'll put the stats up in this video also. I think they're uh, 3,700 raw lumens and 3,200 actual, something like that. But can't wait to see them in the dark and how effective they are.